from San Francisco. It's The Cube. Hi, Jeff Frick here. We are on the ground at the Western St. Francis in San Francisco, California at the Cassandra Summit 2014. We are out talking to some of the folks here, getting a little vibe of what's going on, a lot of excitement. Uh, Billy gave a great keynote this morning and kicked things off. And I'm joined here by my next guest, Colin Taylor from SMX Email. Did I get that right? You did, yes, that's right. And you got a little bit of an accent, so uh, you flew here across the Pacific, I think? Yeah, 12 hours from New Zealand. <laughs> I've made that flight a few times. It's a long flight. It's not, it doesn't get any easier. So, obviously, is worthwhile to come here. So tell us a little bit about the company and why are you here? Sure, so SMX is an email company, uh, email security for the last seven years, but now we're doing email archives. So that's where Cassandra comes in. We've got to store terabytes and growing. So uh, we're quite isolated down in New Zealand, obviously, so it's important for us to come up and meet the technological people, you know, in the bigger markets and find out the new features and, you know, how people are using Cassandra in the real world. So is the, is the archiving new, is that a new product for you, a new feature for you? It sounds like something that uh, email companies would have out of the box. Yeah, well for us it's a new feature. It's coming out next, uh, next month actually, we've got customers on beta now. Um, I guess the thing is, we want to store all your email forever and make it all real-time accessible. So there's lots of, uh, you know, cold storage solutions, you install hardware, you install software, we're in the cloud. All you have to do is say yes and we turn it on and that's it. So then you just hook up with their Outlook or their Gmail or whatever, uh, whatever homegrown whatever Lotus Notes got. if they still have that kind of stuff? <laughs> whatever system they've got, yeah. Okay, so why, why Cassandra? Why is that important? It's the scale. We're going to start off with uh, 16 machines day one. We'll be 50 machines next year and it will just keep growing and we can just add machines. It is, and are you, are you targeting um, a new market? Is this a, just a new feature for your existing customer base or is this really an unserved uh, need in, in the marketplace that you guys are addressing? Well, day one we've got a couple of thousand customers that we can just go straight to and say, you know, who wants this? And already we're in the hundreds of yes please. So by the time we've satisfied their needs, then we can look everywhere else. But that's enough to get us going, that's for sure. Okay, great. So just to shift gears a little bit, uh, so you're from New Zealand, Atlassian Summit is happening down at the other end of the bay in, in, in San Jose. Can you talk a little bit about the tech startup scene you know, in, in Australia and in New Zealand? It seems to be more and more companies kind of coming out. You know, why is that happening? What, what are some of the catalysts for what's going on? Well, both countries have a very high entrepreneurship rate. There's a lot of small companies by definition. We're smaller markets, so we're used to being do-it-yourselfers. People do multiple roles in these companies. It's suited to that sort of startup environment. Plus, IT gives us an advantage in terms of technology that we don't have in terms of people and markets. We can go to worldwide markets using technology. It's just well suited to you know, our small entrepreneurship. And is this your first trip to the Bay? Uh, 30 years ago as a child, <laughs> so not quite. So have you been here for a few days or did you just arrive? Sunday to Sunday for us, yeah. So by the time we get over the jet lag, we'll be flying out again. <laughs> so what's been the biggest surprise so far, either just being here locally or being here at the show? Well, it sounds a bit naive, but we were shocked at the scale of this event. Like we've seen the videos from last year online, but you don't quite get the feel for, wow, because we started with Cassandra quite early on prototyping. It was a small community and now it's this major event. So just the scale, really. Yeah, that's great. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope uh, I hope you get to go out to the Golden Gate, or you, you're going to get to wine country. You get any uh, any tourism stuff in while you're here? I want a ball game. I want a ball game tomorrow night oh, if I can good. get one. Good, good, good. Well, the Giants are on a roll, so that should be fun. So thanks for stopping by. Again, this is Jeff Rick. We are on the ground at Cassandra Summit 2014.